play. So it's a good football team, and, and they got us today. Again, just trying to create and, and keep the play alive. There is a crease, and just trust with the feet. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Please like the video and subscribe. Our target is only a thousand likes. So the Buffalo Bills ended the perfect season for their Kansas City Chiefs and looked like the dominant team in doing so. They defeated the Chiefs 30 to 21, with the dagger coming on a fourth down scramble from Josh Allen that ended 26 yards later, with Allen celebrating in the end zone as the Bills went up two scores with just over two minutes remaining in the game. The Bills' defense was dominant all evening, limiting Patrick Mahomes to 196 yards on less than six yards per attempt and keeping the Chiefs' ground game in check by allowing only 78 yards on the ground. Josh Allen accounted for 317 yards of total offense and two scores, while leading the Bills to being the first team to score 28 points on the Chiefs in 31 games. Yeah, fourth and two. Uh, appreciate Coach for trusting us. Really had a play for man. Um, could have checked out of it, you know, but they, they held a pretty good man look. Um, they dropped out into zone. Again, just trying to create and... and Keep the play alive. There is a crease, and just trust with the feet. What was the play supposed to be? Yeah, it's a man concept where Khalil, uh, you know, if there's a man on the left side, we fly the back, try to create some eye candy, if you will, um, run him through the line. It's just like a mesh play. Um, and again, they they had a. Oh, I don't like that. Did you just hear that? Thank you. Um, yeah, they went they went zone. So. Um, just made a play. Josh, are you guys thinking in that situation that you were going to have to get seven? Just yeah, I mean, anytime you give the, the ball back to Pat and um, that offense, you know, down six with the game on the line, um, you know, I'll tell you what, they, they like their odds in that situation. So um, wanting to get six or, or seven to try to make it a two-score game, and, um, you know, our defense bowed up there at the end and a heck of a play by TB. Josh, here to talk about in clutch situations, your will to want it more than anybody's want to be. Yeah, again, I, I just I'm going to do anything and everything that I can do uh, to help this team win football games. And sometimes it's again handing it off. Sometimes it's throwing it. Sometimes it's running it. So um, whatever I'm asked to do, I'm just trying to do to the best of my ability. It's so familiar for you to be playing big games against this team. What does this mean at this juncture of the season? It means we have to nine wins. Um, I know it's a from perception outside perception. It's a, a really big game, and, and what it means for both fan bases and, and the league. Um, we're in week 11. You know, we're nine and two. Last time I checked, nine wins probably doesn't get you in the playoffs. So, um, you know, going into this bye week, uh, you get to enjoy ourselves a little bit. But coming back ready, uh, you know, a hungry team and just trying to go one and zero. Josh, pre staff with Victor Lincoln, Jackson, and now Sean's been praising your command of the offense. Joe's praising your command of the offense. Is that where you feel like it's showing up most, is pre staff and the way you're seeing defenses before it moves? Yeah, I think we're doing a, a good job in the quarterback room. Um, you know, that starts with, with Joe, obviously, uh, but it trickles down to RC, um, Mitch, Shane, Mike, Lubes, um, and Shermer. So, you know, it, it takes everybody in that room to, to give good looks. In the, in the meeting room, in practice, um, you know, it takes a village to, to get a job done. And I appreciate those guys more than they know in terms of just helping me see things at, at a very quick pace and just rolling with it. And, again, Joe's out there calling comfortable plays. Um, so, yeah, we're just trying to go out, go out and execute. There was a social media clip uh, after the caught on camera after the game, Patrick Mahomes saying to you about, you know, we'll see you again, uh, obviously a reference to the playoffs. What's, what's your mindset with regard to that? I know. You know yeah, given our, our history, we, we tend to meet in the playoffs. So, um, again, we're, we're not there yet. Um, we'll focus on, on that when we get there. But um, we got a bye week and then. You know, tough team coming here, I believe. San, San Francisco coming here? Yeah, so. How um, did you get, um, A, Curtis Samuel involved today, but then also the return of Cooper? Just can you deal with those two guys separately there? Yeah, you, you see the catch that Coop made early on in the game, um, set us up for a touchdown. It's a heck of a play. Um, and then Curtis making plays and, and utilizing his speed and, and making guys miss. Um, still feel like I missed him on a couple throws, and, you know, there's a few ones that I want back. And, again, we'll come in tomorrow, figure it out, and, and try to get better from Curtis's his touchdown, that was the 11th different pass catcher to catch a touchdown from you this season. With all the injuries you've dealt with in that unit, what does it say about them to continue to find ways to, to score points? Yeah, guys, guys staying ready. Um, I know Curtis hasn't had the you know amount of success that he's wanted um, in this offense so far, but he's been as consistent as possible. He works his tail off. Um, I trust him implicitly. You know, I, I 
threw the ball and I got flipped upside down. And I, as I was getting up, I put my hands up because I knew he was going to score. Um, but again, that's the. It, sometimes it's your day, um, and we're going to have to utilize him going forward because uh, when he has the ball in his hands, he's very, very dangerous uh, playmaker. And um, you know, I just commend him for how hard he's been working and, and the composure that he's had throughout the entire season. So Ryan Vandermark, he stepped in today for the injured Spencer Brown. What did you see from him and in, in his big start? Yeah, very, very proud of him. Um, again, just a, a, a guy that loves football, loves his teammates. He works his tail off, um, and he cares. He cares so much about this game. Uh, so it was very cool to see him go in there and play as well as he did. I don't know if did we have any sacks today. I don't think we did. So again, that, did we? No. Nope. Nope? Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, throw throw him in there, and you know, it didn't seem like we missed a beat. Josh, how important you was your level? Go ahead, Josh, how important was uh, time of possession and being efficient on third down today? Oh, it's huge. I mean, uh, the better you can be on third down, um, typically the better team you're going to be. You know, moving the chains, time of possession is so big against this type of uh, team and offense. Um, keeping it away from them as much as possible because you never know what's going to happen when the balls are, you know, the balls in, your, in their hands. So, um, again, just uh, just trying to convert and, and execute every play call. A way of putting into words your level of trust with Khalil. Yeah, I mean, just throw it to him. Um, seems like he comes down with everything. Um, you know, felt like I could have put that one in front, that, that last third down one a little bit in front so he didn't take a shot like that. But um, he's as tough as they come. He just gets the job done. Hey, guys. You got to come with more? Um, just obviously the regular season, this is, I believe you're undefeated. Yeah, I mean, it can, you can use it as fuel. Um, I mean, like I said, it's a good football team, so nothing to hang your head out, uh, head on. I'm losing to them, but uh, we feel like we can play better, so uh, we'll, we'll get back to work and um, and try to use this as a, a, a spark so that we can be a better football team in the end. And um, the undefeated thing was cool, but that's not our ultimate goal, so we'll keep building towards that. Yeah, no, that, that was a that was a great football play. I mean, the, I mean, I've seen the play that they ran. Um, I saw it on the field, and I mean, that was not not really an option. That, that's just a guy making a play in a big moment. Um, and so, um, whenever the play's not there, he does a great job of making plays happen. And um, I mean, that's what he did in that in, on that last play. Obviously, the, the first fourth quarter drive, you, you had it seemed like you really picked up some moments in there. Just wonder what is it about those moments? Did you feel like it was the moment that sort of brought it back? Yeah, I mean, you just kind of do or die. You gotta gotta score, um, or the game's gonna be over. Um, and so we, we we turned it on as an offense, and we were able to get down there and score a touchdown. Um, but it wasn't enough today, and um, we gotta have a better sense of urgency, or I have to have a better sense of urgency uh, throughout the entire game. Okay. Just wonder what you saw in the interception. Uh, the first one or the second one? The, the first one. Um, I saw a guy wide open. I just got hit and threw it three feet over his head. So I just can't do that. What do, you, what do you want back kind of the most from this game, or, or is it going to be to your benefit to, to have this game happen this way? I mean, I mean, you don't know. I mean, I, I'm hoping that it is a benefit. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say um, we, we were relaxed, but at the same time, I feel like we were just coming away with these wins at the end of the game, and I think it's going to spark us to, to have more urgency, especially at the start of football games, especially with the offense. And that comes from me and turning the ball over on the first drive is something you can't do in big games like this. And so um, the hope is that this is a spark for us, um, that we can play better football going throughout the rest of the, the regular season and into the postseason. Patrick, you mentioned uh, making it have a spark. Is this similar to the Christmas game like? No, not, not in a sense. Um, I mean, the hope, you hope you have the same result to, to end it. I'll, I'll say that. Um, but at the end of the day, and that's a really good football team. Um, it's going to take your best football to beat great football teams, and we didn't play our best football today, um, and they went out there and beat us. I mean, that's just that's how it rolls in the NFL. And so um, all, all the respect to them, man. That, that's going to be a good football team that we'll, we'll probably see again. Xavier's had some close you know, sideline plays that he's missed. Is that more of a timing thing, or is that – I mean, it's probably just me just throwing it more inbounds to the guy that's wide open for a touchdown. So if I, if I throw it inbounds, it's a, it's a walk-in touchdown. Now it's got to be better there. You know, you guys did such a good job not dwelling on the undefeated thing. Now that it's over, did it ride on you guys a little bit? Is that a hard thing to sort of sustain? No, I don't, I don't think it did. I mean, I think 
more than anything, I think we just there was a confidence that we were going to make it happen at the end of games. Um, that um, I mean, whenever games are close, it can go one way. A guy can like Josh can make a play, and then, then the game's kind of in a sense over. And so, um, just trying to find ways to win games by not always one score, find ways to have more urgency throughout the entire game will be important for us to, to kind of um, go about um, going into this next week. Matt, you mentioned the chance for maybe the likelihood of seeing them again in the postseason. In your experience, I mean, these games have not gone the same in the postseason. You. What do you get out of this game in the context of the Bills if they meet them again? It's, it's always a couple plays. I mean, like you said, the, the throw to Xavier, I keep that in bounds. You to touch that on that drive. Uh, um, that maybe the, I call a protection wrong, get a free rusher, and it kind of stalls out a drive. Or, or if um, a play here or there, that's kind of the difference of these games that we're playing. It's not like, I mean, it's two good football teams. And um, today, Josh makes the play, and, and we didn't. Um, and so uh, all credit to them. And like, like I said, it's a great football team. And it's all about a couple plays here and there that change the outcome of the game. Yeah, I thought offensively we did a good job spreading the football around. Um, Xavier came out hot making plays. Hopefully we can keep him more involved throughout the entirety of the game. Um, that, that goes with me giving him chances. Um, but uh, other guys stepped up. Noah, two touchdowns. Uh, uh, Peyton with a big catch down in the red zone. Um, you got you got to have that, and uh, I think that's something that we can build on um, as, as well as just getting the entire offense going. I mean, it, you see when it, we're rolling, we're hard to stop. It's just we have to have consistent. It felt like a, a great team win. Um, I feel like um, everything that we've been doing um, individually, uh, unit-wise, and all together just kind of came to a head at the right time. Um, I'm so proud of my guys. Man, my, my quarterback, <laughs> hey, I, I fucking love that guy. Um, I fucking love this team, you know, from the coaching staff, from the from the front office guys to the coaching staff to the players that we have in here, man. It's, uh, it's a beautiful thing to be um, in the league 14 years, man, and – you know, still be able to experience this, man. It, it never gets, it never gets old. I'm so proud of everybody. Proud of my quarterback. Proud of my offense. Great team win. Defense, we played great. Terrell Bernard was on fire today. Um, D line, we did a great job keeping him in, in the pocket. I'm just so proud of everybody, and and I'm proud of myself too. Um, it's uh, a lot of stuff that you know that I fought, fought publicly and and privately and. You know, to still be able to come out on top at 35 years old, playing in games like this, and to still be able to contribute. Um, I, I'm just sitting. I was sitting outside before I came in, and you know, I'm just so proud of myself from being knocked down and still standing up and getting back up time and time again. So this is a, a, a crazy night, amazing night. It's not the Super Bowl though, but you know, we're gonna celebrate this one for sure, and you know, take this this momentum into the bye week and. You know, who knows after that, but we're going to celebrate this one tonight. Talk about, you know, you told me Friday that, you know, in pressure moments you rise to the occasion. Yeah. And today you got a sack, and not only it was a great sack because you surpassed your idol, Derek Thomas, man. So just care to talk about what that means, you know, with that sack surpassing Derek Thomas. You know, this is why they, this is why they brought me in here, you know, and to be able to contribute um, in wins like this to get over the hump. And um, it just feels good to be able to do my job. And, you know, we kind of talked. We kind of spoke it into existence, you know, right? They're playing dominoes and, you know, you never really know about the stuff that you say. And I always try to speak with a positive tongue and be optimistic because you never really know. And, you know, that's one of those things that we're talking about contributing and going out there and getting the win and it happened for us. So, like I said, man, I'm, I'm proud of myself, proud of myself, proud of my team, you know, keeping a positive mindset and to still come out here and work, man. And, you know, 35 years old. 14 years in the game, and I still, I still love it. It, just, it never gets old, for sure. John, what was the mindset coming in in the group of edge rushers? Because Greg had a good game, you had a good game, AJ was flying on those plays. Yeah. What was kind of the group message in that group? In that group? You know, we we uh, we like to we like to you know perceive our our occupation or our job in the game as the tip of the spear. You know, we the first ones out there. You know, we the front line. You know, we lead by example, and, and the team kind of goes how we go. And, you know, the the speech from Coach McDermott was like, it's just another game, and, you know, 100 years from now, nobody's going to remember. And, you know, we were like, fuck that. This is a big, this is a big game. This is why... <laughs> This is why we're here. When the brights come on, when the bright lights come on, we rise to the occasion. We don't need to sugarcoat it to take the pressure off of us. Pressure comes from within, and everybody in that defensive line room kind of rose to the occasion. And like I said, it's a special moment, and to be able to, 
you know, be optimistic and, and speak great things into existence. It's, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful feeling for sure. A lot of you guys seem to sort of say, like, this is great, but we've got to be able to do it in January too. But now that you're in the moment, does, does this feel like a statement kind of win? Yeah, it's a, it's a statement win. They were undefe- they were undefeated. Like I said, it's. It's not a it's not our Super Bowl. Like the season's not over. You know, we're not going to the Super Bowl or anything like that. But we have to celebrate wins like this. It's so hard to win in this league. It's so hard to win in this league. It's so hard to have success in this league. It's so much that goes into that sixty minutes that we play on Sunday night, Sunday afternoons. So you have to be able to debrief debrief and take a step back and look at all the great things that you do. And then break it down. You know, look at all the great things that you did with, look at all the things that you can improve on, wash it away and you know, continue. And we've done a great job with that all season long. Um, this is this is a good one. We're going to celebrate this one. And we got a bye week too, so we might celebrate this one for two days instead of just one. It's, it's a, it'll be a great night in Buffalo for sure. First, first half, they didn't involve Kelsey much, didn't involve Hopkins much, but a little bit more in the second half. But what did you think you did well against those guys? You know, they, they, uh, they do a great job. I think Patrick Mahomes does a great job of finding the open guy. You know, he's not just He's not just looking at one guy to make plays, and you know more oftentimes, more oftentimes than not, it's, it's usually Kelsey or or Hopkins. But Patrick Mahomes is one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play. He's gonna find the open guy. We saw 66 get plays. We saw Steel get plays. You know he's passing around to whoever's open. They do a good job of spreading it out, so it it puts a stress on the defense that you just can't focus on one guy. And they do a great job offensively. They have a really really well coached team. Um, all the respect in the world for the Chiefs. Um, it was a hard, far win, and you know the time ran out, and we were able to get the dub. You said uh, it's not our Super Bowl, but there will be people who claim that like this is your Super Bowl. There is a lot of football left to be played. Yep. But is there a way of knowing that maybe this team is different or feels different? No, nope. I think uh, you know the last three seasons we played the Chiefs, we won in the regular season. You know, last year we went to KC and we won. Um, the year before we went to KC and we won. Um, last year we lost to KC in the playoffs. I think we get, we get so caught up in what's next or what about the past. Like you gotta be where your feet you gotta be where your feet are. We won today. We did some great things today. There's some things that we have to work on today for sure. We're gonna debrief this one. We're gonna celebrate this one for sure. Debrief this one and, and get ready for a, a very good 49ers team. If, if we can just continue to take steps to being the team that we know we can be, it's still room for us to grow. If we continue to take steps to be the team that we can be, when January comes. You know, we can, <laughs> that'll be our zoo. Well, those will be the wins that we've been working all the way from the spring. This, those will be the wins that we can, those will be the statement games for us if we could just keep taking those bite sized wins. Hey, hey, Barn, all that said, you expect to see the Chiefs again? 100%. 100%. Um, in some form or fashion, whether it's at our place or their place, we're going to see the Chiefs again, whether it's in the division around or the AFC Championship or. Or whatever it may be, we're gonna see the Chiefs again for sure. I mean, as crazy as it may sound, how how important was it to you know shut down the run, make Kansas City one dimensional, and let Patrick Mahomes try to beat you with his arm? I think we could have been better on first down. Um, we could have been better on first down. They were getting a huge chunk on us in the first half. We kind of slowed it down in the second half on the offense. We played great complimentary football offense, bailed us out and scored some points for us. But we got to be better on first down. We got to get them in some you know second and nine. You know, second and eight. That way, we can have some more third and six, third and sevens, third and eights. So they did a really good job on first down, again chunk yards, and it and it put a it put a strain on us on third down. They had a lot of third and ones, third and twos, but that's just that just comes with playing a great team. You got to be able to adjust and, and play defense on the flop. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you guys.